Cole Al Baptist Church. Glad you could join us for our devotion time. Today we're going to step away from Colossians, look at one verse in Matthew chapter 23, and then tomorrow we'll be back in Colossians. Well, in Matthew chapter 23 and verse 23, Jesus is speaking to the scribes and Pharisees, and he says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe and mint of anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Jesus defines and reveals something that happens many times with individuals that are religious, individuals that are claiming to follow the Lord. Sometimes they will establish certain habits and they'll do things or refrain from certain things and those things are good. In the case of the scribes and the Pharisees, it was great. Many of the things that they were doing, as a matter of fact, Jesus said, these things ought you to have done. But then he goes on to say, not to leave the other undone. What's he talking about here? Well, he's talking about some of the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. Some of those things that are even more heavy, more pertinent, more meaningful than the things they were doing, they were neglecting. And so that is the way it occurs many times in a believer's life if we're not careful. We'll busy ourselves with all kinds of activities, but then when we take time to examine our lives, we may discover there's some very important, essential things that we're forgetting. Let me share a humorous, humorous story with you that I think illustrates a little bit. There was a famous uh, professional golfer, his name was Payne uh, Stewart. By the way, uh, he was earlier in his life selfish, but he came to know Christ as his Savior and became a, a good servant of the Lord along with uh, being a professional golfer. Well, tragically, he and others with him died in a private plane crash. And at his funeral, Paul Azinger, another professional golfer, told a humorous story. It seemed that Payne Stewart is not very uh, mechanically minded. Great at golf, but when it came to mechanical things, not so much. Well, Payne Stewart had acquired a very nice bass boat, and he was very proud of it. He's the kind that had the little metal sparkly flakes on the boat, and very proud of it. And he'd be out there in his garage looking at it, and sometimes he didn't have time to go to the lake, but he would be out there looking at his boat. And he climbed up in it one day, and was sitting there at the captain's seat, and uh, he just got the idea that he would fire the boat up. And he had an outboard uh, motor. Well, something that he didn't know to do, he got the little bulb and pumped the gas into the uh, motor and uh, cranked it. And to his great pleasure, it fired right off. And he took the throttle and revved it and revved it inside the garage. And, and oh, he was really enjoying it. When all of a sudden, boom, the engine blew up and it exploded in flames. He had forgotten that an outboard motor needs water in order to run effectively. Without water, you're gonna blow up the motor, and that's exactly what happened. The thing exploded with a loud explosion, and flames were shooting out. Payne Stewart jumped out of his boat, went over to the front of the boat uh, to where it's uh, uh, ties to the vehicle, and began to dragged the boat by his own strength out of his garage so that the flames would not uh, ignite his garage and burn down his house. Well, he made a mistake and told that it's about that incident to his friend, Paul Azinger. And Paul Azinger made it a special point to make fun of him until everybody saw about it. And one day, Paul Azinger found an advertisement for an outboard motor, big one, in a sporting magazine. He cut it out, and at a golf tournament, he pasted it on his locker, but he wrote on the advertisement at the bottom, just add water. Well, that was a lot of fun, and it was a, a, a funny thing that happened, but it does illustrate, without the water, the engine just wasn't gonna work. And that's the way it is many times 
in our Christian life. We forget the key ingredients, the weighty matters of what God has told us to do. Sometimes we'll busy ourselves in lesser things, which those lesser things are important, but all the while we forget some of the things that God has said are very, very important. We need to be very, very careful about that. A person may, for instance, go out and earn a living in their career, and that's great. Uh, the Lord said that the man ought to earn his living by the sweat of his face. The Lord said, if you don't work, neither should you eat. And so work is an honorable thing. But what if a person spent a, t a lot of time, energy, trying to earn a dollar and forgot to spend time on training his children, training uh, the children how to grow up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. We see how they're forgetting a weightier matter. And we can come up with a lot of illustrations. The point being, however, there's times when we need to just examine our life, check up and see, are we taking care of business? Are we taking care of those valuable, important things in our life? I hope you're tending to all the business God has uh, given you to do. And I appreciate you tuning in. I'm hoping that you'll be able to tune in on this Sunday. We're looking forward to a, a great day. We just had a great time where uh, Dwight and some other helpers prepared hamburgers and people picked those up and that was great. Good to see some folks that were not able to see but dropped by just to pick up some hamburgers. We're thankful for that. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing a lot of other uh, folks real soon. And you pray for our leaders as they're trying to lead the country to balance safety and then also to think about the fact that we do need to get back to work and trying to figure that all out that requires a lot of wisdom and I think now's the time which we need to pray uh, for all of our leaders that God would give them wisdom. Well thank you so much for listening and if you need anything give me a call. Aloha.